And with time, what can happen is those contents can get stuck within that particular bulge, and that can cause symptoms of pain. So the procedure that he'll be having um, will be to reopen that wound, to separate the um, layers of the abdominal wall, free up the hernia and free up the incarcerated intestine, the intestine that's stuck within it, put all of that back into the abdominal cavity and then repair the hernial defect, which in this case will include most likely a piece of prosthetic mesh so this is there to reinforce that area so this problem doesn't happen again in the future. So this type of hernia can, can happen when there is, whenever there's an incision. So it doesn't necessarily be related to uh, the surgery that the Pope had previously. It could be an appendicectomy. It could be a cholecystectomy where the gallbladder is removed or any procedure where there is an incision into the abdominal wall because that becomes a weak point. They, they may have come apart over time, or there just is a general weakness in the abdominal wall. So it's something that we see not infrequently, and it is something which is a known risk of any type of surgery which involves an incision. One would think that this would take 60 to 90 minutes to do in terms of, in terms of the length of the, the, the surgery. And actually it's not a particularly complicated surgery in most cases. One would hope as well that the intestine that is stuck in the hernia is still viable and that doesn't need to be removed or resected. That makes the procedure again more straightforward. Um, and in most cases, it's, it's really just recovering from the cut back into the abdomen and sewing that back up again. So one would hope that he would be out of hospital within a week. So it's really, it's really a pain issue afterwards. And certainly in the first six weeks after this type of surgery, you're at risk of getting a recurrence again. So and at that point, we would suggest that you don't do anything particularly strenuous. Portion of the bowel colon that's been damaged because of the blood supply being cut off as a result of it being constricted by the defect. And uh, when we do that, we have to remove a section of the colon, a small intestine, and, and join it back together. In terms of recovery, it really depends upon the findings. If uh, regardless of what is done, and the bowel is probably going to go on strike for a little bit. We call it ileus sometimes. Uh, really depends. The as long as the you know if there's been a resection, as long as the two bits of the bowel have healed. Um, that should not cause any major impingement overall in terms of his recovery or anything of that sort. Um, what might be variable might be the extent of pain he's going to be in, uh, the amount of uh, reaction he gets to the to the surgery to his abdominal wall, um, and and you know that's what's going to determine his mobility, ability to eat, and getting back to health uh, in the context of his general condition. he's had is, is a condition of wear and tear that all of us will get if we get to the age of 80, worse a little bit with the Western diet than the Eastern diet. Um, now that he's had surgery for diverticulitis, basically he can go back to eating normal and like anybody else needs to have, you know, you know, fiber and a healthy lifestyle and diet. In terms of the hernia, the abdominal wall defect, um, you know, occurred obviously for a combination of uh, the um, risk factors associated with it. Uh, so like I said, any increase in intra-abdominal pressure, weakness of the abdominal wall, um, and so on and so forth, and provided it's it's fixed securely, um, that should uh, not be an issue.